All right, so another specific scenario that we might want to do within sequence alignment is aligning a whole genome to another whole genome. For this, we have three different possible programs we can use within Mummer, which is what we'll use for this. We have Mummer itself, which is designed for rapid alignment of entire genomes. We have NukeMer, which is designed for the alignment of contigs to another set of contigs or a whole genome. And then we have Promer that's going to align on a protein level um, in six-frame translation. And this is ideal for aligning two, uh, whole genomes of two species that are too diverged for DNA alignment. Um, this is available for download at um, this URL. And it's, there's also uh, manual and examples there. So I'll walk us through using uh, Mummer, and you can go to the, um, the Mummer page to see examples for the other two. Okay, so Mummer can handle multiple reference and query se sequences. Um, in this example, we're going to give it one sequence so that we can look at the Mummer plots afterwards. So this is the basic command line that you would use. You put Mummer, whatever options you want to give it, your reference sequence, and the query sequence. Um, and then to generate the plot, again, you'll do Mummer plot, your options, and then this match file is going to be the output from this previous um, Mummer command. So if we look at an example of this now, you can see we'll start with Mummer. We're going to say give me this dash mum, which um, tells the program to find the maximal unique matches. We'll give it this dash B option, um, which will tell it to compute both forward and reverse complement matches. Um, we'll give it this dash C option, and that says, um, although you're checking in the forward and reverse, only output them um, relative to the forward strand. And then we're going to give it um, our FASTA sequence for genotype 1 and our FASTA sequence for genotype 2. And then we'll say, um, with this greater than sign, that means output to this file that we specified, this output.mums. We're then going to want to do the, the Mummer plot so that we can see this on a graphical level. We can specify um, the x and y axis to say, um, only give me from base 0 to uh, whatever we specify here. Um, and then we want to tell it to give it to us in ping format. And this output.mums is the input for this, which is the file we generated up here with Mummer. Um, there's more additional options for both of these programs that you can find using the dash H option or going to the website. So now let's look at what this Mummer, Mummer and Mummer plot is going to give us. And this is what, this is what the plot looks like. So for all of the forward mums, they're going to be red, and the ver reverse mums are going to be green. Any dot that's on a line with a slope of 1, those are going to be um, unchanged, and ones with a negative 1 are inversions, like here. Um, and this allows you to see where you have syntony across the chromosome between two different genomes. So the last thing that I want to talk very briefly about within these specialized alignments is alignment of short sequences, such as um, microarray probes, primers, um, if you have short context sequence for SNPs. Um, a very nice program to do the alignment for that is vMatch. vMatch requires a license, and so I don't want to talk too much about it today because this is not a freely available program, but uh, if these are tasks that you foresee yourself doing, I would look into using vMatch for them.